save 10% with my code Bobby10. Just kidding guys, today's offer is much greater than a saving of 10%. I teamed up with my Muslim brothers and we created Pure Passage. Imagine sending the reward of Umrah this Ramadan to someone you really loved but had already departed from this dunya. Or they're really sick and they cannot perform Umrah at all. Imagine the feeling of honoring his or her memory and expressing your love and devotion while still ensuring that they receive this gift, the reward of performing Umrah. As a new revert, I just learned about this, but you know better than me that performing Umrah is a profound spiritual journey that most Muslims aspire to undertake and you understand the rewards of it. However, for some, this journey can be challenging, especially when their loved ones are sick or have already passed away. At Pure Passage, we understand how important it is to fulfill this obligation for your loved ones. That's why we offer our professional and reliable service to perform Umrah on behalf of your sick or deceased parents, spouse or any other relatives. We believe that everyone should have the opportunity to fulfill this sacred act even if they are unable to do so themselves and equally understand that the physical and financial challenges of performing Umrah yourself on behalf of your loved ones can be overwhelming. That's where Pure Passage comes in. We take care of everything and make sure that your loved one's Umrah is performed with the utmost care and attention to detail. So let us help you earn this immense reward for your loved ones by performing Umrah on their behalf. Contact us today and let's make it happen. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, since I reverted to Islam, you guys have been asking me almost on a daily basis to react to the final sermon of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, by Pilgrim. Back in the day when I listened to the Islamophobes, people like David Wood spread all kinds of lies about Prophet Muhammad and his last words. And me as a Christian back in the day, I was just too willing to accept their words as gospel. Whatever David Wood said must be right because Islam is the enemy. I simply accepted the things that they said as a fact. And this of course fueled my hate for Islam even more. May God forgive me. Anyways guys, I see this channel as an opportunity for redemption. I've said many, many bad things about Islam and this is why I want to set the record straight. So what better way than to react to the last sermon of Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. With no further ado, let's have a look. Under the scorching sun on the plains of Arafat, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, delivered his final sermon. O people, Listen to my words carefully, for I know not whether after this year I shall ever meet you again at this place. O people, your lives and your property are sacrosanct until you meet your Lord, as are this holy place, this holy day, and this holy month. Remember that you will indeed meet your Lord and answer for your deeds, so beware. Whoever of you is holding a trust, let him return it to its rightful owner. All usury is abolished. Your capital, however, is yours to keep. Response. Wrong not, and you shall not be wronged. All bloodshed from the pagan age of ignorance is to be left unavenged. O oh people, the devil has lost all hope of ever being worshipped in this land of yours. Nevertheless, he will try to mislead you in smaller matters. Beware of him, therefore, for the safety of your religion. Time has turned, and it is as it was the day that God created the heavens and the earth. The number of months is twelve. Four of them are holy, in which war and fighting are forbidden. O oh man, you have your rights over your wives, and they have rights over you. 
It is your right that they do not fraternize with anyone of whom you do not approve. But if they do, Allah has permitted you to isolate them within their homes and chastise them without cruelty. But if they abide by your rights, then they have the right to be fed and clothed in kindness. Do treat your women well and be kind to them, for they are your partners and committed helpers. You have taken them only as a trust from Allah, and you have their enjoyment only by His permission. So listen to me in earnest, O people, and reason well. I leave behind me two things, the Qur'an and my example. If you follow them, you will not go astray. O people, listen to my words. Know that every Muslim is a brother to every Muslim and that all Muslims constitute one brotherhood. It is only lawful to take from a brother what he gives you willingly, so wrong not yourselves. The Prophet ﷺ then faced the heavens and said, Be my witness, O Allah, that I have conveyed your message to your people. It was then that some of the final words of the Qur'an were revealed. اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا. This day, I have perfected your religion for you, and have completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you as religion, Al Islam. Alright guys, and this is it for today's video. Wow man, goosebumps throughout the whole video. What an amazing speech that was. And moreover, the ending with the final recitation of the Quran. Your religion has been perfected. This is absolutely beautiful. And of course, goes into stark contrast to what has been spread about Islam. In this last sermon, Prophet Muhammad clarifies everything that needs to be said one last time. How we have to be fair with our women and that we are all brothers and sisters. That there are holy months of peace etc etc you name it but the islamophobes will tell you that islam is the enemy how is islam the enemy man once you are a truly religious person no matter what if you are a christian or a jew even a buddhist or a hindu and you are somewhat conservative you cannot help but appreciate this message truly what else is there if you look into this day and age especially into america with the anti-islamic rhetoric what are those people truly promoting they're not really promoting Christianity. Quite the opposite. They're simply spreading hate towards Islam and they're obeying their liberal masters. Don't you understand? They accept everything that the West is doing, be it going to war and being very bigoted themselves, being very violent themselves, but nobody talks about that, right? They can infiltrate all kinds of countries and nobody will blink an eye or their own politics within their countries, mutilating their children, spreading all kinds of degeneracy. This is what the Islamophobes are totally all right with. They made a pact with the devil, basically. Instead of realizing that even under the caliphate, that Christians and Jews were always able to practice. But this Western culture is destroying every single religion there is. So those Islamophobes are not honest and moreover, they're not Christians either. They do not care for Christianity. They do not care for God. They do not care for what is right. All they care about is filling their pockets with money, spreading lies about Islam, spreading a false image about Prophet Muhammad. May peace be upon him. The more you genuinely learn about Prophet Muhammad, the more you know to appreciate him. He was a man of leading qualities, a man that led his people through hardship, through war. And yes, sometimes you need war 
as well. Even from a Christian perspective, there are times for peace, there are times for war. He was a leader and moreover, he is the only reason why we have the Quran today. The Quran has been transmitted through him. Don't you understand what kind of man he was? He brought us the religion of Islam. Moreover, he reminded the people of Islam because from a Muslim perspective, we say that there is no other religion but Islam, that there is no other religion than the submission to God, that he reminded the people in the Arabic Peninsula that we're worshiping idols, that this is shirk, that this is a grave sin, that they should return to the worship of one God, and that this is truly the message of all messengers. Don't you understand what kind of exalted position God has put Muhammad in? It is absolutely amazing if you're being honest, but you're not honest, and this is why God will punish you. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.